United States. I'm fighting Justin Wetzel at UFL 3. My thoughts on this guy is that I'm a way better martial artist than him. I'm a better fighter. Um, I'm just going to go there and pose my will and do what I do best. What it would mean for me to win this fight and advance to the finals is an opportunity to showcase my talents even more, uh, showcase what I've been working on uh, leading up to this fight, and putting my name in the UFL history books. On fight night, I see my hand getting raised by a spectacular finish, crowd going wild, and putting on a great performance for everybody. My name is Justin Wetzel. I fight out of Denver, Colorado, USA, baby. I'm fighting Brandon Lewis. In this fight, I'm gonna be stronger everywhere. I'm gonna dominate in every aspect of the game, on the standing, on the ground, the wrestling, everything. When I win tonight, it's gonna to show my years of hard work and training and dedication have paid off. It's gonna mean everything to move on to the finals, and be the first UFL Bantamweight champion. Violence, 15 minutes, putting a beat down on Brandon Lewis. Doesn't matter where it's at, whether it's on the feet, whether we're on the ground, it's gonna be 15 minutes of me committing violence. Set and ready for this, one of the most anticipated bouts on this card, the Bantamweight semi-final Grand Prix that we'll see. Let's go, Brandon Lewis take on Justin Wetzel. Let's welcome them to the cage right now. Go. Look at this, Justin Wetzel set and ready to make the war to the UFL cage for a second time. Now, Frank, he impressed us so much at UFL 2. The performance he put on, the dominant victory over Henzo Martinez. And Henzo, a dangerous fighter, a dangerous striker. What he showed there was, you know, high fight IQ, an excellent game plan, discipline, and then execution within that. It was a bloodbath of a fight. People were wincing around the cage as they saw him open up Martinez and then march on into victory. He is somebody who is motivated by this promotion, by the chance of being the first ever bantamweight champion. He believes this is his time. He believes he's in the right team, the right frame of mind. And just look at the intensity as he makes his way towards the cage. Yeah, his mindset also too is just complete. He's shown everything you need inside the, uh, the cage to be a successful fighter. All the attributes, the mindset, the technique, the hard work ethic. Also outside though, he has he knows that I have to be able to different. I have to create an image that makes people want to pay attention to me. And that's something he really does bring. So I very see very few guys that really have the full understanding of what it takes to have a career from the hard work to the skill training all the way to the sacrifices to actually like, okay, and you have a personality, and we gotta like you or dislike you. We gotta love you or hate you, but we have the reason to watch you. Uh, that fight we saw at UFL 2, saw him bounce back from a, a KO loss, his first ever KO loss, and he, he sat with that for a long time. He was, you know, struggling with that loss, becoming mortal, being finished in that way, and he said that last fight against Martinez, yes, it was a bloodbath, yes, it was dominant, but he felt like he just had to get the victory. He said to, to, to me, outside of the, this fight, he said, I'm gonna show you what I'm really about. He said, I, I feel loose, I feel free again, I feel like me, I've got that confidence back. And he says, against Brandon Lewis, a legitimate opponent in Brandon Lewis, that is where you're gonna see the true Justin Wetzel. Yeah, Wetzel also true. It's sometimes confidence can be very good, but it is good, but you don't know what it's like to get knocked out or how you're gonna perform until it happens. It kind of takes away that invincibility you have on you. Sometimes you go out there with ignorance or just not knowing you have a confidence that, oh, nothing's going to happen. Coming through that shows you a much stronger mindset. So Wetzel is inside the cage. Let's welcome his opponent, Brandon Lewis. Brandon Lewis from Tampa in Florida. This young man, Frank, so much talent. He also had a part of his life, a part of his career, which was halted due to a back injury. He was training for fights. And opponents kept pulling out, so rather than rest and recovery, he just kept training hard until he got a fight. Herniated two discs in his lower back, 
ended up getting sciatica down the back of his, uh, his legs, which caused immense pain, immense problems. And he didn't have health care, didn't have that medical cover that he now has under the UFL. And he said, I had to wait in line. I just had to wait till they could give me the surgery. That took three years away from his career, getting back, getting ready, recovering from that. And he says, I'm glad it happened because now it's made me take this more seriously. Now, rest and recovery, yeah. prehab and rehab is part of my program. And he says, I'm even more dangerous now than before because I'm hungry. I know what it's like to be on the outside, looking at my teammates fighting, looking at people progressing in the sport, in the division where you think you're dominant. And he thinks this, this promotion and this platform in particular is where he can really announce his name on the world stage. The lesson that he's learned is a lot of lessons that a lot of fighters, we don't learn until it's too late that rest and recovery is just as important as hard training. We all think, we watch Rocky movies, it's all about the hard work. The training montage never shows a guy getting stretched <laughs> out, never shows him doing rehab. It's, you know, pounding weights, running up hills, fighting guys all over the gym. It's like, yeah, that's part of it. But if you don't rest, recover, and rehabilitate your body, you're not gonna have a body left over. And he's experienced that, and he's come through on the side of a much more mature fighter, and then hopefully we'll see the results today tonight. They just eyed each other up as Brandon Lewis took a little skip around the cage. We are set. We are ready for this one. Let's get it on the way. Let's hand it to Michael Vale. Let's get the action started. Our next bout is the semifinal in the UFL Bantamweight Grand Prix. Scheduled for three five minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet nine inches tall, official weight 135.9 pounds. He has a professional record of eight wins, two losses. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, please welcome Justin Wetzel. And now let's welcome his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He stands six feet, two inches tall, official weight, 135.7 pounds. He has a professional record of six wins, two losses. Fighting out of Tampa, Florida, introducing, let's go, Brandon Luhan. Joe Coco. No. There we look at the tail of the tape between the two. Similar records, height and reach on the side of Wetzel. Brandon Lewis making his UFL debut. At last was scheduled to fight at UFL 2. Let's get this one underway. Three five minute rounds. This in the Bantamweight Grand Prix. Let's go. Brandon Lewis, black shorts. Oh, red corner. Justin Wetzel. Blue corner, oh, big knees from Wetzel. Look at the thickness on the thighs of Brandon Lewis there, thank you. That's one thing I noticed, I was sitting there staring like, man, for cutting weight, this guy has so much muscle mass in his quads. Oh, and look at that, Wetzel trying to get hold of that neck. If he keeps the elbow down, it's a good threat. See how the elbow's down? Yes, yes. That's a threat. If that elbow starts pointing up, Brandon's gonna be able to attack the legs and get to his hips. If that elbow points down, he'll drive Brandon's head into the mat. He can keep control while he's looking for this choke. Oh, nice knees up the middle there as well. Oof. Great this, technique of both guys. Listen, this, this bantamweight bracket, there's so much eyes on it, Frank, because of the talent. Look how good these guys are. They are world class. We've got Amun Cosme versus Valodia Azavayan later on in the card. Oh, storming forward. Nice blitz there for Brennan. Let's be ready to counter that. coming out of that team elevation. You'll see in his corner, sat beside us, Corey Sandhagen there, Frank. Very good strike. Yes, building off your movement. Cut him off. Don't chase him. Yes. Yes. They're so well matched, Frank. They are so well matched. You see them in certain positions, and they're both asking questions and answering at the same time. Now, Wetzel getting a nice takedown there. That was a beautiful double. He was able to connect underneath the, the glutes right there. He pulled down. And that's actually an attack that might have caught Brendan by surprise. I gotta be honest with you. I don't know if I'd have told Wetzel to go for a double on a guy with legs like that at first. But obviously, uh, you know, he's had 
was successful. Tie up wrist here. Keep, now he has a leg right here that can keep Lewis's hips from facing the mat. He will be able to keep him down. He needs to do a good job of getting his hips facing the mat so he can get his knees under him standing up. So he's put his hand on the mat, create motion, stand up. But by doing that, he's got to make a choice. I'm going to put my weight in my hands to get my knees under me, get my hips back under me. But it takes my hands away from my neck. Oh, that's under the neck. That's under the neck. Justin Wessel here trying to claim his spot in the finals December 16th against Brandon Lewis. Oh my goodness, that's deep. He's got it. Oh, first round finish for Justin Wessel. He said, he said, I'm here to make a statement. I believe I will be the first UFL bantamweight champion. And look, with a performance like that, Frank Mir, that puts him right at the front. Frank, go on, talk. How impressive was that? He's an okay, so many different riders with skill. He was excellent on his feet. That calf kick, if Brandon had, if Brandon had to come up with an answer for it, that was going to be something that really take loose in the fight. Then the grappling aspects, he snapped down, the guillotines used it to change. Then he hits him with a double, takes him down, covers him, and then sinks that rear naked choke with tightness. Body lock, perfect. That was a fantastic performance. A big, big finish there as well. Justin Wessel, my goodness, getting the finish against Brandon Lewis. And we said the eyes of many UFL fans were on this bantamweight division. So much talk about the talent that is in this pool. Justin Wessel earned his spot here tonight in the semi-finals against Henzo Martinez. And now with this performance against Brandon Lewis. And this takedown, look at that, locks his hand, steps over. He showed such good versatility and then locked it under the chin. And he had to make some adjustments, got the body lock triangle, then he rolled it to the other side. Brandon doing the right thing, trying to get the pressure off that, but he couldn't fight the hands and look, the readjustment once it's behind the head. That's the squeeze, and that is what earned him this. Let's make it official, let's hand it now to Michael Vale. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Joe Coca stops his bout at 2 minutes 26 seconds of round number one. For your winner by tap out due to a rear naked choke. And now moves on to the finals of the UFL Bantamweight Grand Prix. Justin Wetzel. Man, awesome performance, phenomenal performance. Came out there to showcase on your feet, the hands, you were landing the low calf kick, and then changed it off, shot a double, took him down. Was there one area that you were worried about? You pretty much were fighting anywhere he wanted to take it, and you were dominant there. Yeah, I, I knew he, uh, he had some big overhands, and his legs are freaking tree trucks, man, so I had to watch out for those. Yeah, we noticed that. In fact, I even said that, I don't know if shooting a double would have been what I called, and you proved me wrong, a guy with legs like that. You're moving on to the finals right now, and for the tournament. We've seen you now so focused. What do you think? Is it the tournament itself? What's giving you this newfound focus to be driven the way you are right now? Hey, it's the tournament, you know, it gives me a time, a date, an opponent. I know when I'm gonna compete so I can kind of scale my camps the way I want. I love the way the UFL has this structured. I'm going to the finals, like I said last fight. I'm gonna be the first UFL Bantamweight champion, baby. Let's go! And with that, your winner, Justin Wetzel.